hope with all of you to discuss the social impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic has impacted the life of each one of us in every part of the globe and has taken the world by storm. We are currently facing a global health crisis, one that is spreading human suffering, infecting the global economy and appending people's lives. This is a human crisis, I say, that calls for solidarity. This is a moment that demands coordinated, decisive and innovative action at the collective level and a strong character and resilience at the individual level. Due to the pandemic, our life actually came to a standstill and all over the world, strict lockdown measures were implemented to somehow curb the spread of this deadly virus. But unfortunately, this left many to worry about their next meal. So for the daily wage earners, it actually turned out to be a choice between dying of hunger or dying of virus. And as a result, the economy is now slowly opening up again. However, I think that along with that, there's also a need for some kind of universal social protection systems. Since they act as automatic stabilizers, and they also play a much durable role in protecting workers and in reducing the prevalence of poverty. Now, strict lockdown measures have also led to the disruption of our traditional social networks. And this has severely impacted our life in more than just one way. There's a marked increase in depression level because people are not allowed to socialize like before. In fact, just two days back, we lost a very talented actor in India, Sushant Singh Rajput, who committed suicide. And such incidents bring the focus back on mental health, which I believe impacts all of us alike, irrespective of our socioeconomic status, our fame, age, or any other thing. And the studies have suggested that there is a definite link between happiness and social network. So therefore, there is an urgent need to create some kind of alternate ways to communicate with each other. And uh, this social distancing should not mean emotionally distancing ourselves from each other. This situation is even more worrisome for our senior citizens because restriction on freedom of movement can lead to a disruption of essential care and support for them. We know that physical distancing is crucial right now, but it needs to be accompanied by a social support measures and targeted care for old people that should also include increasing their access to digital technologies. Another very, very disturbing trend is the rapid rise in the cases of domestic violence during these days to the extent that the United Nations recognized it as a shadow pandemic alongside the COVID-19 pandemic. And we know that home is the safest haven for any individual. And it is just frightening to imagine the plight of a woman who's suffering in the hands of their own family or so-called protectors. And when a woman is forced to suffer at home, she has absolutely no place to go. That impacts her health, physical as well as mental which ultimately impacts her family as well as the nation and the society at large. I think all this is the result of increased stress during these uncertain times. And therefore, I wish to reiterate that this is not a time to feel hopeless, but to display our strength. I strongly believe that our true personality is revealed only in tough situations. And we humans are kind of tea bags, you know, you, we ourselves don't know our inner strength till we are dipped in hot water until we face the difficult circumstances in life. So my request to all of you is to take this as an opportunity to show your inner strength and most importantly, stay positive. This pandemic has also transformed our way of learning and working. Working from home has become a norm now. And while a lot of us have easily moved on to digital platforms, these webinars being such examples, it is sad that many of our brothers and sisters across the globe, even today, do not have access to uninterrupted internet, 
and laptops and they're not even tech savvy so we need to do something about it for sure because the same challenge is there in the education sector as well we see a lot of students around us attending online classes but in remote areas especially in the third world countries and in developing countries the ground situation is quite different and a lot of students are actually at a risk of dropping out of schools and therefore i think in view of this all of us must work towards bridging this digital divide so that the fruits of digitization can reach out to maximum people and when i talk about um, online education i would also bring your attention to its demerits now online education can be instrumental in providing knowledge that is it will take care of the literacy component but it misses out on some very important objectives because it fails to impart the social skills to our children which includes creativity communication skills these are the skills that we learn as we interact with our teachers our peers in school settings so parents have an added responsibility now to fulfill this gap as well and ensure the overall development of their children however in spite of all the challenges and all the problems this pandemic has also taught us some very important lessons for life number one is that our own actions are responsible for the climate change and environmental degradation this is the fact that uh, we have been trying to ignore from years in pursuit of a material possessions and during the lockdown we have noticed that uh, because of the cessation of all the economic activities the nature came back to its full glory and we could actually breathe fresh air and therefore now when we get back on the path of recovery we have to ensure that the economic revival is planned in a sustainable manner we have to work together to reestablish a degree of coexistence with nature to stabilize our economies as well as our society the next important point and i think this is the most important point as we fight the common invisible enemy that is the covid-19 virus it is that we have realized that this virus doesn't differentiate on the basis of nationality on the basis of ethnicity on the basis of race religion caste or gender and therefore this gives us a lesson we humans should also stand for each other irrespective of the socio economic status religious dogmas political ideologies or any other form of discrimination so we have to learn to live in harmony with each other as well as with nature so my humble request to all of you today is to resolve to stand for each other and to be a strength for each other we have to remember that people from all over the world from different nationalities different traditions different cultures have similar aspirations they have similar insecurities and similar dreams after all the world is just one family and human beings are one race and this is also the core indian philosophy as we believe in vasudev kutumbakam i'm sure that together we will be able to cope up with this pandemic soon and build a healthy peaceful progressive egalitarian and just world on that note of hope i would end my talk and i wish all of you the best for future stay safe stay positive and stay motivated thank you so much